Hi, this is Jack Riccardi. And for just a minute, it's hard to tell what Democrats think about the incredible upset of Myra Flores in House District 34. If you've heard the news this week for the first time in anyone's lifetime, the voters in the 34th Congressional District elected a political neophyte, a Republican named Myra Flores over the Democratic opponent, Dan Sanchez. It was an open house seat because the House member had resigned to take a private sector job. Anyway, uh, Myra Flores had a lot more money. She had a lot more organization. Republicans invested very heavily in her and the campaign, and they've been investing in those uh, communities along the border for a long time. And so some of the reaction from Democrats has been that well, Myra Flores was a fluke, and we're going to win this back in November. The chairman of the Democratic Party called it a seat that rightfully belongs to Democrats. But then there was also some reaction from Democrats that, that was angry and said, um, our party is taking Latino voters for granted, and we better wake up and we better stop that. In fact, Vicente Gonzalez, who will be Myra Flores' opponent in November, is chastising his own party for taking Hispanic voters for granted. You know, I think he's right. I think that the Democrats are taking them for granted. I think when the Democrats come out for open borders, CRT in the schools, drag queen story hour, defunding the police, uh, killing our energy economy... I think those are all things that Hispanic voters, like every other kind of voter, are furious about, upset about, care about. And for some reason, Democrats have acted like Hispanic voters are just fine with that. Were they right about that for a long time? And now they're not right about it? Have they never been right about it? Because I think what's happening is not so much that they happen to fail in this particular race, but that all of a sudden people are noticing They've staked out territory and taken positions that almost no reasonable person of any ethnic background can get behind. In other words, I guess what I'm saying is it isn't just going to be Hispanic voters that Democrats are going to have a problem with or have taken for granted. And we're going to talk about it this afternoon between 4 and 7 along with many other things. You can find our show at 550 and 1071 KTSA and always on demand at KTSA.com.